That was Don Johnson, and uh, this is my buddy. He's gonna do it again. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, actually, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Donnie Johnson. I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota, and I'm 19 years old. Uh, my first BMX riding memory would be like me and my friend. I didn't even really know him. His name is Bob. We got bikes on the same day from a bike shop, like actual BMX bikes, and somehow I went to his house and he had a bike, and I was like, what? That's weird. So we couldn't really go anywhere because his mom would only let him go around the block. So we'd go around like the same block for since five in the morning till we go to sleep at night. And uh, we'd jump off like weird driveways and pull each other behind skateboards and just have like jumps that say thin ice on it. We took it from a lake or something and we put some recycling bins underneath it and jumped it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like my first started memories of getting serious on a bike, if you call that serious. I know why I keep on riding my bicycle because it's I like progressing on it and the freedom and the individuality of it if, if you say it like that and uh, I don't know it's, it's some kind of desire there's something in me though but I didn't know what it was I was gonna do something with bike riding it didn't mean I had to be in the X Games or something but I felt something and I had but I still had no idea it would lead to like what I'm doing now or all these people that I'm a part of. I have I had no idea. It's it's great though. So I was sitting at home one day, and I get a call from Lucas, I was at Target with someone, and he said, uh, you want to do some shows? And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. I was going crazy and stuff. So I went down to Iowa real late at night to Jeremiah's house, opened the pull-out couch, pass out. I didn't even know what state I was in, because I've never been to Iowa. No one wants to go there. I woke up, and then Jeremiah walks out, and I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. I never woke up and met someone, as weird as that sounds. Just, um, and then we drove to Indiana, like, just going through like a couple of states. I thought it was a big deal. Like, I had my video camera out, and I'm like, whoa, where are we? By the time I got to the show, it was a night show. And then I just started doing like all the biggest tricks I knew, like, right away. And just, and then it came to the end, and then I didn't have anything left to do, so I just kept on doing the same tricks. I don't know, it was weird. It was fun though. I heard a lot of good stuff at the end of our shows, you know, like all this Jesus talk and everything. And like, yeah, during like five shows, I was like, oh, I kind of like this. And then like it took me a while to actually, it started to all make sense. It came down to one of the FX's when I heard Brock speak, like, it, it, I got really serious or like something happened like something clicked in my brain where it just it made sense really and then I just gave up and surrendered <laughs> gave my life to Jesus well the moment I accepted Christ it wasn't like some magical prayer trick thing it wasn't like oh I'm perfect now and I'm set free like right away it wasn't like that. I mean, it was something that, like, it took time to grow over time. It was like, it was like a seed, right? You've heard that, maybe. 
And then it needs water, right? So that means I got knowledge over time and experience from just asking God to show me how real it is and just through people, from experiences and just growing. Faith plays a huge part of my life every single day from the second I wake up to the minute I pass out, go to sleep, go to bed, whatever you want to call it. But it's in every thought, it's everything I do, every action, it just, that's how, that's how it goes. And that right there just, it brings me closer to Christ each, each day. And uh, that's all I got for you. My faith plays in my riding a lot and one of the times I noticed, like big, was when I learned a double tail whip. Kick the frame around twice, jump on, cheer. I was at a show in North Carolina or something and I seen Lucas go up and do a nose pick double tail, or actually it was a sit whip. You lay on your back on the quarter pipe, kick the frame around twice, roll back in. I was like, it was the end of the show, big tricks are coming along. And I go, I'm going to do something weird and crazy. Yeah, weird and crazy, good ones. But I aired the quarter, came down. I did like, I just did this, see what happened. I landed all sketchy and fell. Lucas was like cheering. So I went back and uh, I was, it was a really weird feeling like something in my body like these, it's like when you close your eyes and see those little fuzzy things. It was like that, but in me, weird. I know, but I aired the quarter, came down, both feet on the pedals. I didn't even know what happened. I was like up here watching my body doing that. And then like I seen myself go like that, it was crazy. And I landed, I jumped on the wall and started kissing the wall and stuff. But afterwards it was weird because Lucas was like, yeah, I was praying for you that, um, that you'd land that or whatever. And I don't know, it was one of those things where it was like meant to be or something. Like God was like, Pshh. well not like that, but it was just like that. I figured out that it's just something God built in me. To, it's set on my heart, it's a desire I, to do that stuff. I don't know how, but it's a calling or something. <laughs> the Batman. You know, it's a little trick. One time I was at the park with, with the Bob, my friend, and my dad was there. Or maybe it was at my house on the kitchen table, where he's like, well, if you want to make something out of this biking stuff, you want to become pro or whatever, you got to do your own stuff, you know, like make something up. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he was like, I got one for you. It's called the Batman. And he's like, yeah, you just flap your arms in the, in the air, just put some big branches on your leaves or something. I don't know what he was thinking. But uh, Bob really liked it. So he'd, we'd go to the park and we'd both kind of do trains of it. It's, you know, the Batman, just flying around or whatever. And when I was called to do shows, um, I was like, I told him the little story I just told you. So then we got like capes and the whole mask thing. Sometimes crowds like it, sometimes they leave, throw up, whatever. But <laughs> it's fun for us, you know. Um, now everyone's doing it. Lucas is, AJ, they all made fun of me at first. But look who's doing it now. I retired, I just gave it up to people like, here, take it. Go make something of yourself. 